So dear viewers, welcome back to your favorite channel and I hope you well. So first, I would like to thank you so much for the continued support because now our channel has gotten enrolled into the YouTube partnership program. <laughs> Isn't that a beautiful thing? That means our channel is now being monetized. Yoleno TV is Therefore, <laughs> we promise to deliver content to you and promise to improve on our videos and be giving you news as they occur. Once again, I say thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please continue subscribing to join our community, Yoleno TV community. <laughs> thank you so much. So let's get started. So on the wake of election hacking claims that has literally brought the internet, the online world to its knees, you must have realized that the internet was awash with speculations about the three gentlemen, the three Venezuelans who allegedly jetted into the country incognito. The three gentlemen are alleged to be employees of Smartmatic International Holding BV. And that realization is what has led us to this analysis that the three gentlemen are employees of Venezuelans Smartmatic International Holding BV. BV. <laughs> so we did a quick fast check on IBC's preparedness and to ascertain whether IBC or Chebukati and his team are fully prepared for the August 9th general elections. And this is what we found for the following. So first, IBC contracted two companies to handle the whole election process. There is a company that was contracted to handle the voter verification, the ICT part. Then there is a, part, a company that was contracted to handle the ballot printing and the stickers and everything. So, Smartmatic International BV was contracted to handle the verification of the Kim's kits using the Kim's kit, verification of voters using the Kim's kit. So, literally, that means they handle the software part. So, according to sources, that is what we found. So, Inform Lycos is another company, that's the second company that does ballot printing, printing and everything. You remember last, is it early this month, there was an expose from the Azmi One Kenya Alliance, the audio that leaked and all that, that audio circulated and you can find it in our previous analysis when we, when we analyzed about this leaked rectangular audio. So, Inform Lycos, a firm that is found in Greece, was engaged in a almost similar scandal whereby Wetangula's right hand man was allegedly sent to Greece to, to, to facilitate additional ballot, ballot papers. So, the scheme as revealed by Azmi One Kenya Alas was that Kenya Kwanza were planning to rope in 2 million votes. That these 2 million votes were to force a first round win that will be in favor of Kenya Kwanza. So that means this is the algorithm, or rather this is the formula. So they were going to, to select 10,000 polling stations. And mind you, IBC, as, a, as according to the, 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 the fax, our fax has around 46,000 registered polling stations. So this scheme was going to settle for 10,000 polling stations. And each polling station, they were supposed to, 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 to slot in 200 votes per polling station. That makes it 2 million. So perhaps, maybe if they don't succeed in the 2 million, they get 1 million. That is still a huge number of votes. That if you can reach a million votes, then I think you have around 1 win. According to what we have as a statistics in the pollings, the, 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 the margin is too small and there are a lot of undecided votes. So if you can rope in 1 million votes to, to Kenya Kwanza's voter basket, then Ruto will certainly become the president. So that was a, there was a syndicate to to introduce the 2 million votes 
be, uh, through the, 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 the 10,000 polling stations by roping in 200 votes per those 10,000 polling stations. So the, the scheme was actually exposed and we've not heard about it for quite some time. Now, Ruto and his team have been citing the government's bullying of IBC team. IBC also has come out guns blazing, accusing the government of a plot to bungle the election. Of course, it is for the first time that we are seeing an, a, a purported opposition team supporting the electoral body 100%. In Africa, it doesn't happen. You know, most of the time you find that the oppositions cry for that maybe I be, the, the, the electoral body is planning to rig elections. It can't be the other way around. You see, Joe Muchero in a previous remark said that when he was constantly being attacked by the likes of Duale, the likes of Kimani Chungwa and Kipchumba Mokromen and Ruto, he said that his plan, number one plan is not to rig elections, but his number one plan is to protect Raila Amolo Odinga's votes. And we analyzed this in our previous analysis. You can go check from the previous videos where we talked about uh, Joe Mucheri's remark. And just go back to the, our previous videos and you find the term thumbnail that has uh, Joe Mucheri's uh, picture. That video is what explains detailed analysis on that remark. When Joe Mucheri said his number one or priority is to protect Raila Amolo Odinga's votes. From the latest happenings, and from, for, especially from yesterday's sudden entry into the country by the three Venezuelans, we tend to believe that there could be a plot to rig these elections. I think all indications are pointed to Kenya Kwanzaa. And not Azimio. We've not seen a, sim a single uh, scheme from Azimio about a, a plan to rig election. We've also only been seeing Kenya Kwanza complain that the Azimio team will rig this election. But then all leads are leading to Kenya Kwanza. So that is why we are wondering could Kenya Kwanza be planning to rig Raila Amolo Dinga's elections? Please let's watch this video. Perhaps you can you can see what Kenya Kwanza have been saying. Ndio hawa sasa watu wa kuzimia kwa sababu wanataka kulazimisha manual register. Wameanza kuangaisha watu wa IEBC wale ambao wanasimamia mambo ya teknolojia. Tunataka tuwaambie asubuhi na mapema hatuwezi kuwaruhusu muangaishe IEBC. IEBC is an independent institution. Askari wetu tunawauliza musikubali kutumika na watu wa kuanguka kura ati ujumu mambo ya uchaguzi wa tarehe 9 mwezi wa nane wa Kenya wako tayari kupiga kura tarehe 9 mwezi wa nane Kilifi muko tayari ama muko tayari? Munataka hawa majamaa wasongeshe uchaguzi yende mbele? Tarehe 9 ndio siku. Tarehe So Mudavadi has been claiming that the elections will be rigged in favor of Azimio and Kenya Alliance. Duale also insinuated that there is an elaborate scheme to manipulate elections. Wetangula and a quick rejoinder said state agencies are being employed to manipulate elections. So IBC has a mandate to build confidence amongst Kenyans by avoiding a looming nullification of election results. Remember in 2017, Elections were held, and then around one win was in favor of Jubilee. But then, after NASA successfully contested that election, the elections were reversed, and that forced IBC to go back to the drawing board and plan for a second election. So the election was bungled. So IBC did not deliver a credible election that time. Perhaps that's the reason why you find something very fishy in Chebukati's latest moves. Chebukati is not being straightforward. So we think he could be colluding with these people to bungle these elections. Meguna Meguna in a quick rejoinder said that there could be three reasons why 
these people were held. One, to relinquish the protocols of the Kim's kit. Two, relinquish passwords. And three, probably be used to bungle these elections. That, we, we're not sure about Miguna Miguna's uh, remarks, because you know Miguna's been making crazy remarks recently. But, but, what we know is that those individuals were arrested and they could have been under, put under a strong investigation because Kenya Kwanza are so composed, they are not even afraid of any move by the IBC or the government. In fact, Kenya Kwanza are 100% safer in IBC. That means should IBC give Azimi One Kenya Alliance a win, Kenya Kwanza should not contest these elections because they are not raising any alarm. So dear ladies and gentlemen, why did, so dear ladies and gentlemen, why did Joe Mosheru say, my number one task is to protect the theft of votes for all the presidential candidates. Why did he say to protect Raila Amolo Odinga's candidate? Whereas we know that William Samoy Ruto is a front runner in this election. That, I think, explains why we have so many theft schemes being exposed and explains why William Samoy Ruto let him have so much confidence in IBC and they are refraining from constantly attacking IEBC. So those strong points lead to the fact that IBC could be colluding with Kenya Kwanza to rig these elections because they are the only people who are confident in the whole process despite the fact that there are a lot of loopholes, there are a lot of illegalities being experienced, a lot of irregularities being experienced before even the election date, 16 to 17 days before the election date. So dear viewers, allow me to conclude there. But before I officially make my, my conclusion, please, if you're a first time viewer, please take a moment and support this channel by subscribing. You can give us a thumbs up. But if you're a returning viewer, just take a moment and give us a thumbs up that you can connect. You can also uh, subscribe there. But we have returning viewers who have not subscribed, please just do so. Hit the subscribe button and support the channel. I'd like to say thank you so much and stay safe and be blessed.